What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome back to another episode of YouTube 101, why am I talking like this, okay, uh, today's episode will be about recording software, what you need, what I recommend, and what I use, and yada 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 yada, right, but before I start my video my lovely video um i'm gonna talk about uh, last episode last episode i like saying that last episode last episode okay last episode was about uh what was it called uh capture cards microphones cameras that kind of stuff your equipment you need to make your youtube channel if you're interested in that make sure to click the little thingy on the screen right now or hit up the link in the description down below same thing goes for the first video or the first episode of youtube 101 <sighs> Okay, I need some water. So this is how it's gonna go down, guys. I'm gonna split up the video between editing software and recording software. I'm gonna start with the editing, then move on to the recording software, and that's how it's going to end up like. So if I haven't already told you guys already, pricing and stuff like that, and just like if you're interested in one of these, make sure to check out the description down below, and you'll check out um, the each one of these individually if you want to, or you can just go to whichever one you want to already like maybe you're like sony vegas yeah sony vegas then go in the description down below in the description down below uh click on sony vegas and uh you'll learn more about it by going to their website right so let's start talking about you know what let's just start with sony vegas right off the back guys sony vegas is not a free software Pfft, yeah why would it be because it's amazing okay um so sony vegas is meant for people that are commentators or people that are needing more from their editing software instead of like using windows movie maker because let's compare windows movie maker or for apple um iMovie iMovie or windows movie maker with sony vegas because sony vegas is just way above that it has many more bells and whistles to it than the Windows Movie Maker and iMovie and stuff like that. So this is why Sony Vegas is a bit, you know, pricey, but it's totally worth it. You get a lot with it. You like if you don't know how to use it, then you need to keep watching this channel so I can teach you how to use it. But um, Sony Vegas just lets you do so much more than what your stock um, editing softwares do for you. So moving on to Camtasia Studio 8. I really don't know. This bothers me so much because I don't know if I'm saying it right. And if I'm saying it wrong, I look like a dummy. So I'm just going to call it CS8. <clears throat> Whoa. <coughs> CS8, CS8, right? CS8 is Camtasia Studio 8. So CS8, again, is not a free program. It is basically like a little bit like halfway sweet spot editing software thing. So there's Windows Movie Maker and iMovie, then there's Sony Vegas, and in between that, there's Camtasia Studio 8 or CS8. CS8 is the middle ground between those two because it's not so bare bone like Windows Movie Maker and iMovie is, but it's not so complex and intricate as Sony Vegas is. It's just in between. It's for those people that maybe are vloggers or you're just putting up a simple maybe like vacation video thing. I don't know. Uh, just something easy to make together, you know, put together, right? You're just using simple tools to put stuff together. You're not using, like, intricate, like, fire stuff. And I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But Camtasia Studio 8 or CS8 is just way easier to use. But it's not so advanced and it's not so bare bones. So, again, it's not free and you got to pay for it. But, uh, you know, I think you can get a 30-day trial as with all of these. Probably you can probably get a trial, but... Uh, moving on to Adobe After Effects, y'all. After Effects, After Effects. Okay, a lot of you already have this, or some of you don't have it yet. Now, After Effects is aimed for those people that are movie creators, or montage makers, uh, music video creators, just people like that sort of type of thing. So, I personally like making uh, montages, 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 yeah. 
Um, I made one a couple of days ago, actually. Not a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, I'm sorry. The uh, Coco one. I think you guys already saw it, but if you haven't seen it, uh, link down below to that too. But that is basically what it's used for. It's used for people that make montages, movies, and stuff like that. Like, a lot of special effects go into it, and it takes a lot of skill to use. So, along with that is adobe photoshop cs6 and yes guys these are not free these are all of these are paid for so you have to pay for these and you can get a free trial at the very best or you can go the dirty way and pirate them so i wouldn't recommend pirating but you know that's a whole different episode so let's start you know getting back on topic here adobe photoshop cs6 is aimed for those type of people that are making channel art logos or uh, thumbnails stuff like that actually you kind of need Adobe Photoshop CS6 because it is so powerful that it creates just the most beautiful things that you can ever create by yourself because I've tried using what was it um, paint and GIF and like a, a bunch of other like knockoff things of Photoshop and it just doesn't work it doesn't work guys it doesn't work because it's not Photoshop Photoshop is so unique and is just easier to use and so so freaking awesome and along with that comes with the premium by premium I mean cha ching and by cha ching I mean money so all the software I've just mentioned right now Sony Vegas Camtasia Studio 8 TSA Adobe After Effects and Adobe Photoshop TS6 is all not free you have to pay for it so Moving on to some of this free stuff, you know, there's, there has to be at least a couple of free stuff, right? Let's get right into the stuff you use to actually record your video and not really export it and make it. So let's start talking about OBS or Open Broadcast Software System. I don't know what it's called. OBS, something like that, right? And uh, OBS is used for live streaming or just general, gen, uh, generally recording your screen like maybe you're doing a tutorial like i do or you're showing your friend how to do something or you're recording a movie illegally i don't know stuff like that right and this is a free software so ta-da here you go here's your little free software right this is a pretty awesome piece of software to be honest this is what i'm going to start using now every single day not because camtasia studio is not working for me but because obs is just such an amazing amazing product and again if any of these softwares I mentioned maybe like caught your attention or you want to get further into it or maybe you want to do more research, links to that kind of stuff will be in the description down below or I'll just basically just mention that stuff. So moving on to Action, it's similar to OBS, but you have to pay for it. Uh, Action will record your screen, your video games, and that's pretty much it. Or you can create like a little square where like maybe you highlight just your corner of your screen and you record that. And um, this will, along with OBS, will record your microphone, face cam, all that stuff you got. You can all record it at one time. It's pretty cool, right? And uh, both of these do 60 frames per second. Although resolution wise, OBS will record what your native resolution is and you can't really well you can bump it up to 1080p but you'll get that little chunk of just like that l that huge l of black chunk i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about but you know you know what i'm talking about don't 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 act like i'm dumb okay here we go moving on to cs8 recorder or the camtasia studio 8 recorder this comes along with camtasia studio 8 yay it's i don't know if i should classify this as free or classify it as pay I think I should, I'm going to classify it as pay because you have to buy Camtasia Studio 8. You can't just buy this on its own and get it for free, right? That would be cool, though. That would be really cool. I'd get it in a heartbeat because it is just amazing. It records, like, you can highlight maybe from corner to corner, and it records the entire screen, or you can record just a little segment of the screen, and it's just amazing. But I think the reason behind it being bundled, bundled along, bundled, I can't say that word, as, as speech impediment um it, it can't it's bundled with camtasia studio 8 why the reason is it records in a really funky format it does not like you can't record a, a game in using camtasia ugh. you can't record a game using camtasia studio 8 and then like try to use it in sony vegas because it recorded it, it like it, it, it okay so before my brain crashed um i was talking about uh camtasia studio 8 and the recorder it's bundled along with camtasia studio 8 because you can only use that to edit the actual file so moving on to bandicam bandicam oh my god so many memories about bandicam bandicam is so old 
that your mom would probably use it to record her videos. Oh, just kidding. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, Bandy Cam, it, I, uh, it's Bandy Cam. There, there's not much to say about that. I think a lot of you guys know what Bandicam is. It's the same thing as Action and OBS. It will record your screen, and it's free. But if you pay for it, it'll get rid of the watermark and the other the um, time limit and stuff like that. So, if I were you, I'd pay for it because I am not about to watch a video with a huge ass Bandicam watermark in front of it and a 10 minute cut video. Like every 10 minutes. Like, I remember using this for my Far Cry series when I first started YouTube. It was so annoying because there was a big, big ass Bandicam logo in front of your face. And then the the video was only 10 minutes long. Like, who watches that, right? Moving on to Audacity. Audacity is the software I'm using right now. Right, right, right now. And Audacity is by all means the best recording software you will ever find on the internet and it is amazing because it records your voice you can mod it you wait did i just say mod i meant edit dang it you can edit your voice you can edit all that stuff you can shorten it lengthen it record it's just pure amazingness it's like ice cream it's too hard to pass up right it's just amazing so all of these are um well I guess, let me go back and just do a little recap here before I start my brain crashes again. OBS is a free software. Action recording software is not. Camtasia Studio 8 Recorder is being classified as not, even though it's technically free with the bundle, but whatever. Bandicam is free. Here's another, like, iffy, because it's free, but you don't want to use it free because there's a huge watermark and the 10-minute limit. But if you pay for it, all that goes away, right? And then there's Audacity, which is free. And all this stuff is the stuff I've personally used during my YouTube career. And stuff I've left behind, stuff I've used, stuff I've evolved with. So if you're going to start somewhere, start somewhere. Don't, don't just like use Movie Maker forever because you can't. You can't use Movie Maker forever. You just can't. It's just impossible. I don't know how people... I guess you could, but what I'm trying to say here is that you need a decent editing software to make your videos, to make your commentaries, to make all that stuff possible. And you need a decent recording software if you're going to do tutorials on the computer. Or you need a an amazing, an amazing, amazing voice recording software such as Audacity. And all this stuff will eventually just merge together it's just like a huge puzzle 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 in the ocean like it's just a huge puzzle it's just like floating around and as you get your equipment you talk to me you already got your software eventually you learn how to edit and then just like they just collide and they just like perfectly match it's just amazing it's amazing watching that happen it's amazing watching someone who on day one didn't even know what a capture card was and by the end of the month they know how to edit they have making they're making videos they got 200 subscribers because of my awesome youtube 101 series huh, huh eventually right and so this is all gonna help you in the long run uh this is pretty much it guys don't want to make it way too long i think i've already made it way too long i'm gonna have to put in like two pieces of gameplay just to you know compensate for my lack of cons see i want to use big words i want to sound smart but i just don't know what they are dang it okay i'm done ranting thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below titty smack that subscribe button and make sure to leave a comment down below if you have a question about anything maybe i forgot to link something or i said camtasia wrong and you're trying to correct me whatever have you let me know thanks for watching this is grenader signing off peace
would've thought every failure's an illusion now Now the ones who stood against me are the ones who took a seat Now I'm aiming for the stars that I couldn't reach Gotta take what you ain't giving, give a 120 a minute No gimmick, no missing, so listen in prison In the mind I live in, driven to finish the mission Happiness is currency, I'm trying to make a living Don't you get it out